Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. Welcome to the Bosha YouTube channel. And what I thought would be amazing to do today is talk about our star product, the Luminizing Charcoal Mask. Now, many of you out there know and love her. She was a total game changer. She's been our number one bestseller for 10 years years running. We launched her in July of 2010 and she's been our best-selling product ever since. So she is our number one bestseller and fan favorite. So I thought it would be great today to devote an entire episode to our luminizing charcoal mask. This is the mask that put Bosha on the map. It is a total game changer. So let's get into it. Now first, a little bit of history about the LCM. So let's go way back to the early 2000s. And um, Lan, our co-creator, um, she actually was on a trip back to Japan. She was born and raised there. And she went to go visit some members of her family. And you know, Japan is an amazingly innovative place for lots of things, of course, but also especially for skincare. And she saw that, you know, in Japan, they were doing really innovative uh, things with peel off masks. And um, in char in Japan, charcoal is such an important important beneficial ingredient for lots of different things. In skincare, yes, but they really elevate it using it to an art form. I mean, there's restaurants in Japan that use specific forms of charcoal in order to cook their food because they feel it's like the best. So it is an amazing part um, of that culture. And she thought, you know what? I think there could be something to this. So she was able to bring uh, that innovation from Japan and create um, the luminizing charcoal mask. That was her inspiration. And um, it absolutely was a first um, here in the U.S., and it became the most disruptive, game-changing skincare product. Um, again, launched in 2010. Um, it's often imitated, never, ever, ever duplicated, and has been our number one bestseller ever since. So um, let's break down each uh, part of the name as well. So luminizing, luminizing. This is so very important because not many people know this. Of course, we'll talk about charcoal, but luminizing is so important in the luminizing charcoal mask because it has vitamin C in it. And a lot of people actually don't know that. So we're here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, that uh, in the luminizing charcoal mask, the main luminizing factor is vitamin C to really impart that beautiful brightness, evening of skin tone, each and every time that you use it. It has vitamin C, ascorbyl glucoside in it, um, and it just does an amazing job. So consistently you get those benefits. So you get them immediately, and then of course you get them consistently over time as well. And that's really what a great mask should be all about. It should give you immediate benefits and long-term results. So, um, so that's the luminizing. Secondly, charcoal. So it absorbs dirt and excess oil. Um, it detoxifies, it exfoliates to refine the pores instantly and over time. Uh, now, how does charcoal work exactly? So charcoal works because it is so extremely porous. Um, it absorbs toxins and impurities in the most amazing way possible. Now, activated charcoal is what is in the luminizing charcoal mask. Um, activated charcoal is so important because it's been heated to almost 1700 degrees um, uh, uh, Fahrenheit. And so it makes it extremely, extremely porous. So of course it's amazing to put into a peel off mask. Uh, so that's of course um, what people know the luminizing charcoal mask for is it's amazing, you know, detoxifying. Um, that charcoal just goes into the pores. As, as the mask dries, that charcoal goes in, it just starts to ex, uh, absorb and exfoliate out that debris that gets clogged in the pores, 
what contributes to things like um, pores looking more apparent in the skin, blackheads, and then of course, if that debris and that oil gets trapped, of course, and the skin isn't being sloughed off, in the best way, that's when it begins to get clogged and you can get bacteria and that's what leads to things like pimples. So I think that is what that charcoal can just consistently clean that out in a really, really beneficial, amazing way and allow the skin to really um, breathe again, I guess, and then um, really heal itself um, as well. I get a lot of questions and we get a lot of questions at Bosha is, is this good to use if you have breakout prone skin? And I will say this from my own experience, and I am somebody who throughout my life has been very acne prone, blemish prone. I adore this mask. Um, now, if you are, if you're under a dermatologist's care and you're doing an intensive treatment for acne, I would probably consult with them first. Um, and uh, that's, I think that's important. If you're not though, and uh, I would absolutely, um, if you're just using a pretty moderate acne care or, or blemish um, care routine, this I think will be key. I even have rosacea. Um, uh, on the skin and I find this incredibly, incredibly soothing um, uh, as well. And um, it will just be an amazing uh, uh, product to balance everything out on the skin as well. So uh, we've talked about luminizing with vitamin C, we've talked about charcoal. Now, what are the other important things to know about this as a mask. Again, masks are intensive treatments that really target specific concerns. You should get immediate benefits. They should be very gratifying in that way, um, but they should give you long-term results as well. And I think what's so important with the Bosha, with this mask and our other peel-off masks is um, they really have this gap-free delivery system. You know, this, the way it dries is just so like a second skin against your skin that there's no gap between your skin and receiving all those beneficial ingredients, the vitamin C, the charcoal. So they're just going to absorb um, and you're just going to get the maximum benefits from them. So that's the gap-free delivery of that peel-off mask. Um, the second thing is that with that gap-free delivery is that when you peel it, you get gentle exfoliation of the skin, which is so beneficial for so for, for everyone, so many skin types, but really anyone. Um, somebody who's very acne prone needs gentle exfoliation much more consistently because their skin doesn't shed um, uh, skin in the normal way and that's how the pores get clogged. Of course, somebody who's dry needs to exfoliate more because that dry flaky skin can build up and then none of their hydration or their moisturizer works as well. So it, that gentle exfoliation is really, really important and the one, the one of the ways you can get it is doing something like the luminizing charcoal peel off mask. Now, um, that's why it's just so incredible for all types of skin, not just if you're oily, not just if you want deep pore cleansing and minimizing. Best practices for this mask. I love talking about this. I've been talking, of course, about this mask for now over 10 years. Um, uh, is to smooth it on in an even solid layer on the skin, it shouldn't be too thick or too thin. This is almost dry, by the way, and I'm gonna remove it and show it to you guys. Um, uh, so an even solid layer um, on, uh, on clean, dry skin. And you can see here, it's actually starting to pull away a little bit. And I will see here, when I, when I started filming, I could see here, that here's a place where I actually got a little too, I got too excited and I smoothed it a little bit too much. So you can see right here, I would probably, um, you don't want that kind of, if see that's a little too thin, you wouldn't want that across your whole face. You want it to be an even solid layer so you can't see your skin through it. Um, it shouldn't be too thick though. Some people think they have to apply it really, really thick and you don't have to. Just an even solid layer, not too thin, not too thick. Um, there should be about a finger width away from any hairline. So whether it's the top of your head, your eyebrows, a little bit, well, I got a little, a little narrow there. Um, then if you, if you're, um, if you have a beard, 
um, uh, for you guys out there. Um, just a finger width away from when that beard stops and ends, or stops and begins on your face. Um, uh, let it dry completely. This is almost just about dry as well. Um, there's a little bit, I think a little bit that might be a little bit damp on my nose, right on the tip. I got a little excited there. I think I put just a little too much on. Um, so if that doesn't come off all the way, I will show you how to remove that because it's really easy. That's the one thing too about this mask that I'm always wanting to share with people is how easy it is. People get a little, um, I think they get a little intimidated by it. It is not that way. It's actually super uber easy to use. Just put a big glob in your hand, start smoothing it. I actually smooth it from the center of my face outward and upward and down, and then just start joining all the, all the, um, sections together. Let it dry completely. And then once it's dry, you're going to actually pull an edge down and pull it downwards. Like you can pull upwards. That will feel intense. So if you like that, go for it. I actually like to pull downwards. That's kind of a good best practice. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go to my forehead up here and then I just have an edge that can pull down. And then we're just going to pull it down like this. And again, if there's little bits, don't worry about it because those are going to come off really, really easy. Sometimes I do this and then I get like right in the shower and then all of that is going to come right off. See, it's going to come off. Oops. It's not going to be one whole piece, but sometimes you can get it one whole piece too. And that's cool. Lan, our co-creator, she is like, she is absolutely a pro at this. There we go. There we go. And there it comes off, just like that. There you go. Okay, so then, so I have these a little, a few little bits. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, there's just a tissue here. And then I just actually, this is toner. This is our rose water mist with, with, with witch hazel. And then I'm just gonna take a little, see it just comes right off. Or you can just like rinse it off as well. See it all just comes off. And your skin just absolutely feels, it, it just feels absolutely incredible. So you can just get all these little pieces off. And then of course you follow up with whatever um, your next part of your skincare routine is. So whether it's, you know, your, um, you know, it's your, your, um, your serum, your moisturizer, you know, whatnot, whatever you want it, whatever you want it to be. There we go. I got most of it off. Oop, there's some on my chin. Um, so just a few little fun facts about this mask is that we did, um, we have some pretty amazing clinical data with it as well. A hundred percent of users after they use this, um, I think it was a four week study is their a hundred percent, their skin felt more clean and less oily. 95, um, of users said their skin felt softer and 84% said their skin appeared more bright and radiant. So I love those results so, so much. So if you, um, love this mask, keep using it. Um, uh, your skin will thank you for it. Um, now and in, in the long term and then if you've never tried it this is this is the time go to bosha.com check it out um we have it on its own and then we have it in some uh, sets as well on bosha.com some value sets so go check it out thanks for tuning in today you guys see you next time bye